Sorry to keep you waiting so long. Now you know I am a strong believer in early voting, which passed. Look, Connecticut gets it right. I think we showed that along the way. We're having an election. It's an election with integrity. I see that Dick Blumenthal's uh, opponent just conceded. Appreciate that. William Tong's opponent just conceded. And uh, I know that we've got uh, ABC has uh, given us the uh, vote. I see that uh, Fox News, Fox News has said we won this thing. Connecticut gets it right. We had a good election, a fair election. Now we all come together. We work together as one because that's what Connecticut always does. That's the Connecticut difference, right? We went through COVID hell together and back. You know how we did it better than most about any other state? We did it because we worked together and we looked out for each other. We looked out for each other. We got our schools open faster. Thousands and tens of thousands of families move into the state of Connecticut. They love Connecticut. That meant we have an expanding economic pie. That meant we get our economy growing. That's why we have a strong budget. That's why we're not talking about deficits. We're talking about surpluses. Thank you so much for turning out. Thank you for making a difference. Thank you to my campaign team. Thank you to my family. My poor family. Annie's happy to have the election open, and she's really happy she doesn't have to hear any more stump speeches by Ned Lamont. <laughs> Look, we're going to let the dust settle tomorrow. All the final numbers are going to come in. But Susan and I so look forward to the opportunity to serve the great state of Connecticut for another four years. I can't do it without each and every one of you, our incredible campaign team, our friends from labor, our teachers, our workers, our state employees. And we're just getting started. God bless you all.